What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here for AKW News. Now I've got some stuff regarding Talk Like a Pirate Day, regarding the limited quantity set coming out this week, and of course some some little tidbits regarding a, a potential class coming out for Mogloween this year. Um, now that's just in case you guys got confused by the title of this video maybe, that's just a just a rumor, it's just a, an idea that Alina said she was definitely interested in, just in case you are coming just for that information, but I'll get more into that later on. Either way, we'll talk about Talk Like a Pirate Day first of all here. So, Alina's already jumped on and uh, given some teasers for Talk Like a Pirate Day. Um, she tweeted out an image, and uh, this image was made by an artist by the name of Aranax. Aranx? Aranx? I have no idea how to pronounce that. My apologies. Um, either way, um, that, that artist created this set you can see on screen now. Um, now, it was actually confirmed by Alina that this is not the Talk Like a Pirate Day Naval Commander set. This is not one of the Naval Commanders. So uh, I think that's a pretty cool set, so I wouldn't personally mind if that was a Naval Commander. It doesn't really look like a Naval Commander anyway, but uh, hey, I wouldn't really mind. It looks pretty cool anyway. But Alina did, did say this is not a Naval Commander armor set, but the September upgrade bonus, which means that you'll be able to obtain it by purchasing an upgrade um, for your character during the month of September. So that's that's pretty cool, I guess. Now, uh, some more news regarding Talk Like a Pirate Day. There is a artist by the name of Vokin. Hopefully, pronounced that one right. Um, and they are just a long time artist. Of, they've done some stuff, and I think they're an NPC in an uh, in Underworld. Done some cool cool uh, Legion type stuff. Um, he has made a naval commander before, just for fun. Nothing nothing like in game or anything like that. And uh, someone asked Alina on Twitter. Will Vokin's naval commander ever be released in game or something like that? And Alina responded with, Vokin's naval is already being considered for this year. If we go forward, we'll just announce it in the design notes. So that inspired me to go find what Vokin's naval commander actually looks like. So I, I went went scouring the internet. I went through Google Images and, and looked around a bit. And I couldn't really find anything anything definite. Um, but I did find an official DeviantArt page from Vokin himself. And he had an image on there. And I believe it was titled like uh, Vokin's Naval Commander 2 or Vokin's Naval Commander like remastered or remade or something like that. And uh, I'll show you an image now on screen of what that might look like. And uh, there it is. That's what that's what Vokin himself tweeted, uh, not tweeted, posted on his DeviantArt page. So that's at least what that might look like. So uh, that's 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 perhaps what we might be getting as one of our Naval Commanders this year, which will be pretty cool. I, I do quite like the look of that. I do think that's pretty cool. Um, might need a little bit of editing though. I think the hat looks a bit strange, but either way. That's all we got for this week regarding a Talk Like a Pirate Day. Now, this weekend, um, this Friday specifically, we have a limited quantity shop available for us. And so Alina made a, made a tweet. She said, First look at the Summoner Twilly Gear coming this Friday to our Elemental Dragon Summoner limited quantity sets, available for all players. So that's uh, anyone and everyone. So this will be available for like 50,000 gold or something. And it's, uh, it's a Twilly pet. It's a couple of blades. It's a staff and a... Uh, a single blade so that looks looks pretty cool actually i quite like the look of that it's a cool little set there um the next image is going to be uh regarding nelgath actually for these limited quantity shops and uh basically lena posted an image of a dark makai or makai i don't know how to pronounce that i'm sorry um she said hey nelgath fans the the dreadhound rider battle pet is coming this friday at aq.com in our limited quantity sets update so looks odd i think is the right way to describe it's a dreadhound with a makai on the back of it and it's gonna be a battle pet that probably won't include quests but if it does hey that's cool um i think she would have hyped it with that information though i think she would have said you know this will be a quest pet so people would have gotten hyped and would have bought acs or whatever to to uh, actually save up for that but obviously they haven't she hasn't said that so as far as we know this is not going to have quests on it it might though she hasn't said it's going to be available for all players, so this will presumably be available for members for gold. They always do a free players for gold, so a members for gold, and then they do a uh, ACs for non-members as well. So like they do like an AC, a member only, and a uh, free player one. So this will presumably be the member only one, and it's just a battle pet. In fact, the fact that she says battle pet probably implies that there's not going to be quests on it anyway. But hey, it's just a Nolgath pet, I suppose. And uh, next up, we have the actual set of uh, stuff we're getting for the limited quantity shop. Um, Alina said, the Elemental Dragon Summoner set coming to this week's limited quantity sets update at aq.com. So this will be the uh, ACs set, I presume. 
I don't think this will be available for members only. I think that they'll release this for ACs. Um, either way, that's uh, that's the image there. That's what what she tweeted. So uh, so it's pretty pretty nice looking set, I suppose. Nothing too interesting about that, to be honest with you. Just get a get a good look there, and uh, there's just a little a little tidbit of information here. It's a little just a little tiny tiny bit of information that we can look at here, um, and uh, this is an, just an interesting conversation regarding uh, Mogloween this year. Nothing definite. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Nothing too overly overly uh, exciting. I mean, it, this is fucking insanely exciting. But uh, I'm just gonna keep my cool because this might not happen. Okay, Deadly Legion sends a tweet at Deadly Legion on Twitter. I, I think he's just a just a random dude. Um, I think he's actually commented on my videos a couple of times. I don't know. I kind of recognize that name, Deadly Legion. Might have seen him around somewhere. Um, and he asks, "I was wondering for Mogloween if we could have an actual vampire class." And Alina gives a very interesting response. She says, "Given the spoilers of our spoilers, that just might work. I will discuss the idea with the team." Thanks, Deadly. Okay, so there are a couple of ways to interpret th- interpret this. Those spoilers parts are just sort of random things thrown in there. Random uh, random little, just, I guess, spoilers, you know, captions just chucked in there just to make it seem exciting, make it seem hype, make it seem like there's something more going on. You know, that's something I'd probably do in that situation as well, just to hype it up a bit. Because she probably probably has already discussed this with the team, and it's probably an idea that they're looking into already, and it's probably an idea that they've been wanting to do for a while, and it's probably an idea that will happen. That's that's one theory on the situation. Like I said, theory. It's not confirmed or anything. Another way to interpret that is those spoilers parts you can read there are actual words that, that, that need to be filled in. So I haven't bothered to think of any words to fill in there, but hey, it's it's something more to that. Or those spoilers are like alluding to the fact that something servery right related might come out, which will affect that, but they can't release any information regarding that yet. So there's might there's there's definitely something more to this, and there's definitely something's gonna come out of this. Something must come out of this. Like, come on. She wouldn't have given that sort of response if something wasn't actually gonna come of this. So at the very least, we're gonna get something completely unrelated, but uh, I guess related to classes or something like that, or Mogloween, which would be cool. At the most, we're getting a vampire class in the server rewrite, rewrite and it's going to take advantage of all the new stuff in the server rewrite. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Either way, she's definitely considering a new vampire class, which is insane. If you guys don't already know, there's already a vampire class in the game, already an AQW vampire class. Um, it was released for Mogloween in 2008 and went rare after that event went rare. Um, and it's just a reskin of Rogue, however, it's notorious for being one of the rarest classes in the game, if not the rarest class in the game, apart from, like, Barber or something, because there's just no one that has it. Like, no one has Vampire, because at the time it was like, well, it's just a reskin of Rogue, who gives a shit? But now it's like, it's an, it's a nine-year-old class, almost, that, that just is, is called Vampire, like, it's such a, a classic theme i guess to be a vampire and it's 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 rare it's really rare like really insanely rare so it'd be really cool to get that i don't know guys i hope you guys uh did enjoy the video either way um if you did leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video peace